This is a video review of Sky Slicer from the Switch and Go Dinos toy line. Um, I've reviewed a couple of these before in the past, and maybe only one. I know I've reviewed at least one. It was a Stegosaurus car thing. Um, these toys don't quite seem like a thing that would really catch my interest very much because they they do a lot of stuff, but it's not stuff that would normally interest me. Basically, they have a lot of electronics in them, and they're actually really neat electronics, but what really draws me to the line is just, in general, how high quality the line has always been, because the vehicle modes and the dinosaur modes are all very nice. The transformations are sometimes simplistic, but very fun. Um, and then, the other thing that's nice about them is the just the quality of the parts. Like, there's a lot of craftsmanship that went into putting them together. There's never, I've never had any bad uh, quality control issues. In fact, this one's probably the worst I've ever had, but only because some of the parts are kind of loose, and that's more just because of the kind of vehicle it is, that there aren't as many places for things to lock in. But anyway, what really draws me to this line is they have really, really nice, smart electronics. And I'm gonna show you the electronics on this guy here. You turn them on down here, So you see, you see, it has um, it has a voice clip, but it also has the eyes up here. And you can also change the eyes by pressing right here. You can change the volume by pressing right here, and you get actually quite a few uh, noises, like you just moving back and forth, like this, uh, just the vibration of moving around will make him do stomping sounds. In fact, this one is a little bit too sensitive, uh, so he'll make sobbing sounds throughout the entire video. Because so after I uh, so after I show off, after I show, has got a big appetite. Big quit interrupting me. After I show off the electronics, we're gonna turn them off and to show you the transformation. I'll turn them back on. So anyway, you get some voice clips here with uh, this button right here. I'm always losing my teeth, but they grow back. Good as new. Hey, keep it down over there. You'll scare the dinos away. Hey there. My name is Scar's Big L. Has got a big appetite. Feed me! I'm not as big as T-Rex, but I'm every bit as ferocious. My teeth have edges like a saw. <laughs> Look out! Big L is on the prowl! If you press the other button over here, you get dinosaur noises. And now I'm going to turn them off so I can show you the transformation because if I don't, you're just going to make the stomp, 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 stomp noises over and over and over again. So to start this off, we're going to close his mouth. And then we're going to take this little chin piece up here like this to make the nose of what will be his vehicle mode. And we'll flip the head up like this. Then we'll take the arms, pull them out to the side, and fold them up to form little winglets. Like this. Rotate the legs back like this. Then you'll take the tail and you'll rotate around back like this to form the, um, well... I, I guess it would be elevators or a... And since it has a smaller wings up front, uh, I guess little canards, I don't know if these would count as elevators or ailerons, but anyway, uh, control surfaces. And here's this little um, spatial like mode, and this is actually kind of cool for being something that turns into a dinosaur and it has a big block of electronics in it. Rolls well, quite well. The overall is pretty neat. He turns on the same way, and instead of ding getting dinosaur eyes, you get... You can change the pilot by pressing the same button. Take a pilot. And what strikes me about this Take is that, pilot. um, not this guy, but this guy right here, Take and this guy, pilot. they both kind of remind me of Char from Gundam. But, um, that's a bit besides the point. But anyway, you get noises, um, phrases be my by pressing this. I rule the skies. Watch out. This bird has claws. I'm a flying ace. How high can you fly? Then you get airplane noises by pressing this button. And then you can get airplane noises by just making them go whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And then overall, it's just a very uh, small, fun, tiny little package. Maybe a bit overpriced for what you get, since if you get a Transformer instead, you're going to get actually quite a bit more play value out of it, even though it doesn't, it wouldn't quite do as much. It would be things that aren't the same each time. Whereas with this guy, 
Even though, even though I really love the electronics that VTech puts into these toys, and I think they're just overall just very well done figures, and I do like them, um, it does get kind of boring hearing the same noises over and over again, especially when they interrupt you. So these toys aren't quite for everyone. I'm not really going to recommend or not recommend this. This is more just showing off something that I think is kind of neat. Um, but if you think this is neat, by all means, get these, uh, get some of these figures. Uh, some of them are really neat. Uh, but anyway, um, I review Transformers and Power Rangers and Digimon and uh, Tobots and lots of stuff like that. If any of that sounds interesting, please subscribe and thank you for watching. Have a nice day.